What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we're checking out the room here. I'm going to give you a room tour. A lot of people have been asking for that and while it's not much of a room, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the other side of the camera. And you're probably wondering what these two items are doing on the table here. Well, I've actually set up a pretty cool way for you to support the channel and get cool stuff in the process. I have a Patreon page which is linked below in the description and there are a couple of tiers where every month you will get either one or two random pops out of my collection and starting it off, just kicking it off fresh here, I'm gonna include this in one person's random box and this in one person's random box for the two pop tier. So just go ahead and check out the link below. It's all self-explanatory there. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. But these two items are going out to two random people very, very soon. So be sure to check that because spots are limited. Link is in the description. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so this is what it looks like from the other side of the camera. In fact, that's my front door right there. And over there is the spare bedroom, my living room, etc. The kitchen is behind me. But this is kind of how I have all the camera gear set up in case you were curious about that. This is the main camera I use, it's the Canon C200. Then I have a light right here, which is pretty bright and I have a couple of bright lights that are clamped onto the table. Now these are the Elgato key lights and they're pretty cool because they don't take up a lot of space. They clamp down to the table there as you can see. I have one on both sides to kind of give that even lighting from each side there. And uh, yeah, and so up here is a microphone stand which is connected to this microphone which is the Sennheiser MKH416. And above that on the stand, I have, let's go over here, a camera. So this, there's not a lens on it currently because I'm using the lens right here, but this camera is what gets the down angle right there. And then I have a monitor right there that allows you to see what's happening on the table. And all of that is supported by this giant stand right here and all these fire hazards of wires. Don't, don't follow my example here. It's okay though. Anyway, like I said, this is kind of how it looks from the back side of it. This is the table. It's actually a sit stand desk. So if you go over here, we have a little handle here that I can pull to raise or lower the table. And obviously everything you see right here is the background behind me. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so we will start on this side. This is just an old chest that I picked up from somewhere. Right here we do have this cool little sciency lamp that I happen to pick up from uh, like an art walk kind of thing. And then we have a couple pops down here. This little balloon dog statue is something I got from FYE, which I think is actually pretty cool. And then we have the wall of Batman. So these are just a bunch of Batman pops that I have. And up here you can see we have a couple of nice uh, grails right here. I love this pop a whole bunch. And then also these black box Batmans are pretty cool. And I think this pop is underrated. This is the Bombshells Batman and I just think it's a very, very cool pop. Oh, and I just noticed this because I was looking at the glare on this pop. One thing that I've done to kind of get rid of the glare on pops is add this little black um, shield up here. It's, it's actually just a piece of foam, but it's black. And so when I have the pops underneath it, it blocks out all of the, uh, the reflections. So you can see through the window more clearly. Anyway, let's go ahead and put that back over there. But up here is a very, very huge shelf. And you can probably see over there too, I have some other pops, uh, random Marvel pops up there on top of one of those baseball bat cases that you can get from Michaels. So I have that up there, but right here, bunch of random pops. So these are all the current gold chrome pops that we've seen released in the last, you know, however long that's been. It's been a while, but I have all of them out of box just because I have a bunch of Spider-Man pops and some other random uh, Marvel pops up here as well. 
And then I have a little mini Thanos collection here. I do have Deadpool on the unicorn over here and this really rad chrome looking Batmobile, which I just think looks awesome. All right, on the other side here, we have some of my out of box flash pops, which I, if you know me, I'm a big flash fan. And then we have Gorilla Grodd right here as well. And above that, some inbox flash pops and this cool little uh, Star Wars celebration Darth Maul pop that I picked up recently. And then up there, we have some new school Power Rangers. It's kind of hard to see. I'm, it's a lot taller than I am way up there. So <laughs> some other Spider-Man pops and then uh, a Deadpool vinyl figure. And then we have my Batman light. So this actually, I picked this Batman uh, sign up from Target and then I just wrapped little lights around it, which I can actually turn on and off using that guy right there. And uh, we have a Deku hat right here, as well as a Negan bat. Now this used to be a Harley Quinn bat, but I switched it out for this Negan bat. This is actually real barbed wire on a real heavy baseball bat. So it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> anyway, below that, we have a cool looking camera light that I picked up from an art festival. Got the hype light, the boom box sign, and then some random pops and other junk down there. It's kind of a mess down that way. So we're gonna kind of avoid that. Um, but right here, so this is like the full backdrop. And I got these shelves, these little square boxes at Ikea. So that's where you can find those. I'm not sure of the name of them. I'll try to link them in the, in the description if you wanna check them out for yourself. But there's a lot, a lot, a lot to cover here. All right, so this half of things is kind of flash related. I have some select flash pops that I'm a fan of, some chrome ones back there. We have the white lantern glow in the dark flash, my flash chase, my reverse flash glow in the dark Dallas Comic Con, which I'm a big fan of. And then we just have a loose reverse flash right here because I don't know, he's cute. Why not? Why not put him there? This guy I got from San Diego Comic Con 2017, I believe. It's, it was a, a limited piece, at least the translucent version was, uh, from Diamond Select Toys, and I just think it looks pretty rad all around. Um, up here we do have my Domo Flash out of box. I do have one in box way up there. But then we have uh, the Flash Unmasked, the Flash Conan, and then the regular reverse Flash from Dallas Comic Con. So <laughs> lots of Flash there. Um, down here, well, I should say over here, we have a couple of tiny ghost figures. This is the uh, cat and dog bundle, glow in the dark. And then we have the ectoplasm glow in the dark uh, from Bim Toy as well. Tiny ghost line, pretty cool. Um, this little <laughs> Funko Town finger is actually from the Facebook group that I'm in. And then we have an out of box Stan Lee over here as well. Now underneath that, we have my Freddy Funko social media pop, as well as the Toucan Sam ad icon, which I mean, I, I just, I don't know, childhood memories eating Fruit Loops. Above that, we do of course have the Deadpool that I got from the Invalid Unboxed Mystery Box. Big shout out to him. This is just, this is always staying in my collection. And then we have the custom Dexter Morgan pop that I ordered from Etsy and uh, you can find that video linked down below as well. Now above here, we have my nine inch Batman and we have my Batman Chase along with my Bat Hound right here. And then just some random uh, Marvel Pops stacked on top of there. Now you don't see this part much because it's usually behind me, um, but I do have a Wonder Woman statue a Harley Quinn hand where she's holding the lollipop. And then this Spider-Man statue I actually got from the limited PS4 game bundle that came out last year sometime. Pretty cool statue though. And then we have my 10 inch Thanos and one of the custom pops that I made at Funko HQ. And right below that, we have some random masters of the universe stuff. So we have my buzz off pop, my metallic battle armor Skeletor, some Pez, and some cereal. I know, I, I don't know why I have those still. But <laughs> right next to that, we have the little box of open box Groots. So I have my 10 inch Groot and then some random assortment 
of other Groots deep in there as you can see. Moving along here, we have my NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the game of turtles. They're obviously sitting on one of the thrones there and then I have them kind of pose like that. I don't know, I thought it looked cool so I left it there. And above that we have, well, the Night King that went on that throne. We have some vinyl figures for My Hero Academia, the 10 inch Demogorgon, my Tony the Ad Icon flocked Frosted Flakes boy right there. And then this guy, which I pulled from a mystery box not too long ago, which is Freddy Funko as Deathstroke. And then of course, the Golden Girl cereal and the Flash cereal because I gotta have everything Flash. And right above that, we have some other Infinity War pops as well as my squad sign right there. And this is my uh, Taylor Acoustic right here as well. And uh, below this whole thing are just some excess pops. Right now I have a bunch of inf uh, Endgame pops there and some How to Train Your Dragon, Golden Girls, and then a bunch of Jim Lee pops right here at the, uh, on the side over here as well. Fantastic plastic pops. And then all these are some new pops that I actually picked up recently and I haven't done a haul on yet. So if you wanna see a haul on those pops, hit the thumbs up button. But you can see here that we do have some, um, some Night King pops right there, some Spider-Man, some Endgame, more Spider-Man, the new Deku from Hot Topic. We have some cereals down here as well. And we have my YouTube light, which I had custom made by a company out of Arizona. Now, right here, we have the beginning of my My Hero Academia collection with Endeavor, Masto Chaco, Glow in the Dark All Might. We have Atenya. And then over here on the wall, we have the rest of the My Hero collection which is just kind of packed into this wall. Next to that, we have Infinity War <laughs> and we have Captain Marvel. So quite a lot of pops in this little area. I'll give you guys a little backed up, zoomed out version of it so you can see that right there. But yeah, this is the wall of pops. And then below that, we have a lot of overflow. Some more stuff from my recent haul, like this guy right here which is the Flocked Bunny from Target, and then some other pops that I just enjoy having around sitting up here as well. Oh, and I just got this guy not too long ago, which I'm very excited about, along with the Blue Chrome Stormtrooper. So we have Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper there, and then more Jim Lee stuff. What do you know? I'm a big Jim Lee fan, but man, I don't know. This... This is my area. Oh, I guess I could show you these pops right here. Um, just a uh, random Night King, some Jordans, some Stan Lee pops. Uh, we do have these Vans, Steve Van Doren pops right here as well. And then uh, a Flash statue and some other random stuff. I don't know, like I have Spider Hulk and the Hulk Buster. And then down here, um, we have some Pikachus and uh, this, uh, I believe it's pronounced Tosakin. <laughs> Forgive me if I got that wrong. And then down here in the dark, we have the Spider-Man with the little spider buggy and my Comic-Con badge box from last year. Yeah, I mean, this is the little room that I shoot stuff in. It's just the front room of my place and I have it decked out with this table and stuff. And, and when I'm done, I can kind of just push all this stuff out of the way if I want to, or I can leave it set up. But yeah, this is what it looks like from behind the camera. So, I don't know, let me know what you think. All right, so now you've seen the room behind me and this is not everywhere that I keep my pops. I do have different sections scattered throughout my place here. And if you wanna see those other ones, leave this video a thumbs up and check that link below because I might be doing some exclusive pop tours there as well. Like I said, you can sign up, support the channel, and get cool things in the process. Uh, there are two tiers there, and I will be sending these out to two lucky people that sign up, as well as the fact that you'll get random pops every month, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's just a fun way to spice things up 
and give you something cool for supporting the channel. So be sure to check the link below because like I said, there are limited spots available for this entire thing because I'm only one person, so I can only fulfill so many people's um, random mystery pops that you'll get <laughs> each month. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about all that in the comments section below. And if you want to see a haul of some of the recent pops that I've picked up, leave this video a thumbs up. And, uh, whoo, I am out of breath because it just, it took some time and, and energy walking around this tiny little room right here. I know it looks a lot bigger because of the wide angle lens that I use, but it's, it's actually quite small. You you would be surprised if you saw it in person. Anyway, I appreciate all of the support, everyone. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.